What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video, we are going over my top six camp locations in Fallout 76. But before we get to the video, make sure you smash that like button with the Fallout 76 community you can see this, and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. Let's get into it. And the first camp location on our list is just south of the Spruce Knob Channels, as you can see on our map right here. But this gives us a unique place to build in camp. That's all I got to say. It's a difficult place. But when you do build something here, it does usually come out magnificent looking just because of the location. First off, we have this awesome river right here. Just in case you know you like the fish for all your mutated fish and all that lovely stuff. And also we have floaters that like to spawn over here. I've already killed them of course. But yeah, so every time you spawn here you can get some XP. But this place gives us a lovely cave. I like caves. And this is just what I need. But besides that, if you go up on top of the cave, trod over here real quick, you won't be able to use this area over here and like design it and all that stuff. But if you come over here, we have a giant flat area, which is perfect for building a house or doing whatever you want up here. And what I did in a personal build of mine is I built a deck down there with all the river, making it all look all fancy. Then I built stairs leading up to here. And then up to here is where I had all my houses and all that fun stuff. And it looks really nice over the top over here so yeah this is the first camp location on the list now on to the next one and the next camp location i recommend you building on the list is a little bit northeast of watoga see in this location up here and oddly enough it is right here on the road yes on the road i said i what i did is i put a camp right here where the truck was and it allowed me to have this huge circle and kind of a flat area to build out whatever i did and i built out a little bunker base looking thing but it also gave me the opportunity if i run over to this way to have an underground area where i could build stuff and this was my bat cave it was absolutely awesome and i do want to do another build in here again but yeah ever like all that stuff you have up, up top it stretches out down here and you can build down here too and it also leads to another opening over here so this could be your other entrance to your bat cave but I definitely recommend trying to build out an area out here. It does look cool as like a little Wastelander, Mad Max style type of build. Or if you're a Brotherhood member, you can have your little towers out here or do something like that. But with the incorporation of the underground to this area, oh, it makes it so freaking cool. Now, onto the next location. In this next camp location is even more north of Otoga. But this location is more or less if you want to make a little farm area out here. This area gives you a nice little flat land. To where there's one passage through and one passage out unless you learn to fix a bridge or something like that or you just make them walk through water which is very rude of a person but this area gives you two islands to conquer what i personally did in my own build is i set my camp right here and it allowed me to get this area and i built a bridge and had some of this area over here too this is a freaking awesome place to build, especially if you just want to also stand away from people. I never see anyone building here, and you can really do a lot of things with this area. There's also a couple enemies up the road, just in case you want to, you know, farm for XP at your own place. And sometimes you'll have Scorch Beast coming around. But I never get nuked, and it is a close place to live if you want to go to all the nukes or do all that fun stuff. So yeah, this is a super unique place. And now on to the next one. And this next camp location on the list is one of my favorite camp locations in game and this was literally my first main area to ever have a location to camp at. And I swore I was never ever ever gonna move because it was just so perfect but uh, eventually I learned there was a challenge that if you built so many camps in so many areas you get so many atoms. So and once I heard about those atoms you know I had to get a different camp. But before the Wastelanders update that tent little area over there. That spawns like certain NPCs and all that fun stuff. That wasn't there. So this area definitely did not have that there. It does now. So you can't build on that side, but you can build on this side of the river or the pond. But this is a freaking beautiful place and it has a very, very good scenery. Looks right over that little satellite tower thingy over there. But also this is a two in one location. So. If you didn't want to build down here, you know, down in the giant pond, you can make your way all the way up here. There is another location right at the same area. Just cross this little bridge. It's very foggy out here and very spooky, but that's okay. Where is it? Where is it? It is, bam, another pond location. So 
you have your choices between the one down there and the one up here. The one up here is a little bit bigger and probably has a little bit more resources around it, as you can see. But all in all, these locations are freaking awesome. So you have a good area and a good place to pick a camp. Shoot, if you want to even make one in the crevice or on the bridge, you go for it. You go do whatever you want. But where I built my camp was in that area down there. I hope you all build in this location because this, again, is one of my favorite locations in the game. Now on to the next one. And the next camp location on our list is one of the best locations to be able to place a camp in Fallout. And that is right underneath Vault 76 at this location. This location gives you your own unique little pond. And it's close to a seasonal event meet week, which is literally right above us, somewhere around there. But yeah, this camp gives us a cliff to jump into a pond. First off, uh, who doesn't like cliffs? But, you know, after you're done swimming, you can come out of your dock. You have a freaking dock. We also have a chair on the dock. A nasty, nasty chair on our dock. It's a lovely place. I love it. And as you can see, that's why I built a camp here. I won't give you a full detailed like tour of my camp or anything, but this is how the place looks like with a, with a house all around it. So, yeah, this is one of my favorite places to build. It's more of like a homestead area in my opinion. But now on to the next location. And the next camp location on my list is right next to the Somerville's Dam right here on the map as you can see and this is just a awesome area to build because it gives you a unique aesthetic in the background but it also gives me a nice wastelander feel when I build here as you can see I have a camp location that way you can see how it looks like but yeah it gives you a river also so if you want to build it in the river go for it you can also build out there in the lake so all around this lake is an awesome place to build in my opinion but right here is my favorite because I have the dam and the, you know, the Capitol building over there all in my background in my house. So, yeah. These are my six locations that uh, I recommend you build in at. These are my favorite locations. So, if you enjoy the Fault 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe for more Fault 76 content. And, guys, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.